Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Sir James coming at you guys with another video, and today I just have a quick review to go ahead and share with you guys on a Jedi costume that was provided to me from a company called Cost Daddy. Now, if you've never heard of Cost Daddy before, it's perfectly fine because, again, there's a lot of websites available for purchasing costumes, but they also offer a wide range of costumes available uh, for pretty much all kinds of different genres of what you're looking at Star Wars, Fortnite, you name it. They do have a nice selection in general and they actually have a pretty good listing of costumes currently on sale like the one we're going to be checking out today. Now this particular costume on their site they call it the Obi-Wan Kenobi but generally when it comes to Jedis in the Star Wars universe you could basically be your own version of the Jedi. It doesn't necessarily have to be Obi-Wan. You could just be your own unique generic type Jedi with no issues whatsoever. So before we actually get into this, I wanted to let you guys know on something pretty cool. And this is just something I just wanna kinda of share with you guys cause I know there might be a few of you who are interested in it. But back in the day, I'm not sure exactly when it came out to be honest, there was a video game called Darksiders 3. In that version of the game, they actually had a few different collector's editions, while one of them was called the Apocalypse Edition, which went for a crazy price of $400. Granted, it comes with four statues and all kinds of different things in the box, but for $400, a crazy, crazy price. But if you act now or check your local game stops, that has dropped down in price to now $120. In fact, I nabbed one right here, and look how big this box is. This is the collector's edition box for the Apocalypse Edition. But again, if you've been wanting to get the Apocalypse Edition, check your local Game Stops, $120. That's a steal. Just the statues alone are very good. Now it's technically like $30 a pop for each statue. Everything else is a freebie in the bag. But again, wanna let you guys know, you could always go to GameStop.com, check the app binder to see if there's a store near you. Uh, they have this version available for PlayStation 4 or Xbox. Even if you don't care for the game, I think the statues are worth it in general. But anyways, back to the outfit. Now for the outfit, you actually get a pretty nice package deal. You get the tunic, pants, the robe, and you also get the belt. The only thing that you don't get is of course the Jedi boots and the lightsaber. Those you have to provide on your own, but I'm sure most people have some form of a lightsaber, whether it's the inexpensive ones that you find at Target, or maybe some of the more higher end custom ones, or maybe just ones from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which obviously, as you guys know, I have plenty of those to spare. Now, the, even though this is a more of a lower end costume, there's not too much for me to nitpick on, but I will nitpick probably the weakest part of this outfit, and that is just the belt. I mean, the belt is okay. It's gonna serve its function as far as styles and looks, but again, just in general, this doesn't feel as nice as the rest of the outfit is what I'm trying to get at. Now, they do have a pouch here on the side and um, you think it's good enough for a phone, which it would be if you have like a really small old school phone for sure. Probably maybe like an old flip phone perhaps, but again, there's really not much you can do with the pouch. Maybe you could just replace it with something better as an option. And as far as the Velcro in the back, it's only a small square amount of it. And for someone like me, obviously I'm quite skinny. Even if I were to wrap this around me and have everything on, this belt is no way gonna fit me unless if I were to modify this and add more Velcro, which again, it's an easy fix, but still I feel like the belt is generally on the weakest side. Now moving on over to the next part is of course you do get a pair of pants provided to you, which is neat so therefore if you don't have any brown pants one is supplied for you and they do have a wide variety of different sizes the pants are nice and comfortable and uh, one thing that is to be noted is that the material on these things are thin meaning that if you're going to be in a location where it's going to be cold outside you may want to wear something underneath to keep you warm because these are definitely not going to keep you warm but on the positive, if it's something that you plan to wear during the summer heat, I think this is gonna be a very nice thing to have because you're gonna have that nice breathable airflow through, uh, going through the outfit in general. But again, you do have your pants here and I did get a size medium by the way, cause I am five feet, eight inches tall and the medium fits me well, except for the belt portion. You also get the robe. 
The robe is also nice. Again, nothing too crazy. It's not made of wool or anything crazy like the ones from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but it does look neat. Uh, the only things that I re just don't like in general, and again, this is also an easy fix to modify, is they have these strings here that you can go ahead and tie across. Uh, for me though, I'm probably just gonna end up cutting these if I ever wanna use the robe because, I mean, I don't expect to tie this at any point in my life. But it's there if it's something that you really wanna do. And last but not least, we also have the tunic. Now, I do like the colors of the tunic. You got the nice, kind of like a, a tannish white color scheme going on here. And you do have this nice brown trim underneath to indicate like a uh, under tunic. So it's like the under tunic and then the over tunic. It's all in one simple piece. And then of course you also have the sashes that come forward that's going to be hanging over uh the only thing that's a little bit on the weak set i mean it's not really that big of a deal if you plan on wearing the robe i mean obviously you won't be able to wear the robe if you're planning on wearing this to star wars galaxy's edge but you could still wear this part for sure in the pants but is that it is doesn't have a back portion to this because and if you guys recall the tunics from Star Wars Galaxies or just any other version of the Jedi tunics, they usually have the tabrets that swing over to either the midpoint or maybe it hangs a little bit lower. But again, the back side of this is plain. So, um, I mean, that's probably going to be a negative for some people, but honestly, it's not too big of a deal since you're really not going to see it since it's behind you technically. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is that uh, for actually before we get to that, I have tried this on, it does fit nice. It is nice and breathable. As I stated, it does not keep you warm at night. But uh, overall, in terms of what do I think of the outfit, I think it's a nice outfit. For $60, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. And before I initially cut off this video, if you want to visit their link, I'll have that information in the description down below. And before I end this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, head outside because it's nice and dark and flinging around my lightsaber and you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.